Hello everyone and welcome to this Revit tutorial on how to create your own custom family. So the family we're going to be creating today is this custom dining table, glass dining table with uh, side timber benches. Now this custom table is being designed completely from scratch and I'm going to be showing you today how to create your own. So this is what it looks like and I will run you through how to create one. Now the first step in creating your own custom family is you're going to have to create a new file. So the first step you want to do is go to the R. Now clicking on the R, you want to go to new, you want to click on the arrow. Once you click on the arrow you'll see some options and you want to select to create a new family. Now scroll down to the bottom, now what we're going to be creating is a piece of furniture. So find metric furniture and open the template now the template file should give you an X and there it is and this is going to serve as our reference X so the first thing we're going to do is create the tabletop so select extrusion in the top create section and then go to the rectangle now I've already set up the dimensions of the table and I know that the table is going to be one meter wide by three meters long. So once you get the correct dimensions, click to accept, just click the tick, and you'll be complete. What you want to do is you want to align this table to the X, and you'll find out why later on in the video. Align it horizontally and vertically. So find the midpoint and just align that to the X. And there you have it. Now, the tabletop's complete, we're going to create the table edges. To create the table edges, you'll need to go up to the create section and you want to create another extrusion. So, click on the extrusion and zoom in. Once you zoom in, click on the X and it's going to be about 20 mils thick, the glass. So again, go 20 mils, back again. Now, you could do this with the line tool, or you could do it like we did from before with the rectangle tool. Both ways work fine. Once you complete, just click on the tick, and you're done. Now, remember at the start when we align this to the X, when we need to model the other side, you can either remodel it, or you can just mirror it along. So, selecting the mirror tool, you can just, with that selected, click on the center line, and it'll perfectly mirror across to the other side. Press escape to exit, and you'll see that it's perfectly mirrored. Okay, now that we have most of the geometry complete, you want to make sure that this is all accurate. So, going to one of the elevations, we want the height of the table to be at about 800 mils high. So, just select on the extrusion, and there are two ways you can make this 800 mils tall. You can either use the tool and drag it up to about 800, or at the extrusion end, you can just type 800, and it'll put it for you. Now, What's it, what, what this has done now is it's made a complete 800mm thick extrusion. We only want this to be 20 millimeters thick. So again, we can select the object and we want to make the extrusion start 20 mils less than 800. So that'll be 780. And you'll see it'll take that up there. Now again, you can use the arrows to take this up or you can do the same thing as we did from before and change the extrusion end to 800 and leave the extrusion start at zero because this is staying at the bottom. Now you'll notice that the two joins now are intersecting. Using the join tool you can select the first geometry and the second and you'll see that it merges the two together. Same thing to the other side, select the first and the second and now this has joined the two together. Press escape to exit the tool. Now that this is all complete we can start modeling the center base. So going into the 3D view, if you can't see the model, just click on the rectangle with a magnifying glass and it'll bring it into view. So you'll notice that it's very long. So it's three meters long. We're going to need some supports in the center. So the easiest way to model some supports is to create some reference lines first. Now what the reference lines are going to do, they're not modeled into the actual geometry. They're just there for our reference. So go to create in the top corner, select reference line, and now what you want to do 
is set a reference line. Okay, so this was, we said that this was 3 meters long. So this is 1500 from the center. So 1500 from there to there. Half of 1500 is 750. So you can just type 750 and that'll take it to 750. Now run this across. And if you run this at 1500 again, you'll get 750 from there. Right, so now we've split the table into quarters and we want the supports to be just off center so we want one on this side and one on that side so again what we want to do is we want to create another reference line in these centers so I press escape to exit once but it'll keep the tool active so again from there to there and find the midpoint. Okay, so now we've split it evenly. So now that we've got all our horizontal reference lines complete, we're going to add some vertical reference lines. So going back up to the Create tab and selecting a reference line, just take it up a bit so it's easy to grab later. And now we know that this distance from there to there is a meter. Half of a meter is 500. Half of 500 is 250. So just type in 250 and click enter. Just run this all the way down. Then we know that from there to there is 250 again. So from there to there will be 500. 500, not 5000. Now just click enter again. Roll up. And you're done. So now that the reference lines are complete, we can start modeling the center supports. So the first support is going to run. So to create the first support, you want to go to Extrusion and make sure that you select the Line Tool. Now you'll notice that these reference lines are still live. Live as in you can still select them. So you can just click on the intersection and run it down to the second intersection. Then again run it up to the second intersection. Now the supports are going to be 20 millimeters thick, so select 20 and run this beyond the line. And I'll explain why in a second. So once that's complete, just press escape to exit once. Then again, you want to make this 20 mils thick. Press enter. Then you want to run this again beyond. Now, once this is complete, press escape twice to exit. Uh, so you'll notice that these have been run across each other, but that's perfectly fine. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that they perfectly meet. So going up to the trim tool, click on that, click the first one, then click the second one on the inside, not on the outside. So clicking on the inside, you'll notice that it V's them off perfectly. And now you're done. Okay, now that this extrusion is complete, click on the tick, and you're ready to go. Alright, so same thing with this, we want, two, we want two facing each other. Now, we can model it again, or we can just, because we align this to the center, we can just mirror it by selecting it and clicking on the mirror tool. Then, select the middle reference, and now you have two supports in the center. Now that you're done, you can just delete all the reference lines and get them out of your way. Okay. So, now that the supports are complete, we just want to make sure that they're at the right height. So just go to the left elevation. And again, same thing as before. You can use the arrow to extrude this upwards, or you can use the side taskbar to input your own dimensions. Uh, now that this is complete, we're going to start making the benches. So click on the front elevation. And we are going to go to create this time. We're going to create an extrusion. Now, this extrusion is going to be a bit different to the other extrusions because it's going to have a curve in it. So we're going to use the start end radius tool. So click on that tool. 
and about 200 mils away from the table. Click once and then take it up to about 400 mils. Then click again. Now you'll notice now it gives you a curve that you can adjust the radius of. Now you want the radius to be about 45 degrees. Once you're at 45 degrees, just click and accept. Now again, same thing as before. You want to take this to about 400. That's how wide the bench is going to be. And now this time we want it to be curving inwards. So this is where you're going to be sitting on. So again, make this about 45 degrees. And you're done. So again, first point, second point at 400. Click again. And this time you want to curve it outward to about 45 degrees. There. So just going back up to the correct tool, the line tool. Just click from one end to the other end and you're done. So now that this is all connected, you can just click on the tick to accept. Okay, so if you go to the left elevation, you'll see the bench. Now it's not across the width, so again you can just use that to take it all the way across. And again that to take it all the way across. So if you go into the 3D view, you'll see that now you've got the bench. Now again, going to the reference level, like we said from before, because this is all aligned to the center cross here, we can just select on the bench, click the mirror tool, and we can mirror it across. And it's as simple as that. And there you go, that is how you model your own custom family. So just remember, when you're modeling, just make sure you go to the new section, and you create a new family, not a new project. So just make sure you don't make that mistake. And another thing you need to be careful of is actually making sure it's center to the reference line because if, if it's not 100% center, you, when you mirror things, they're going to be a little bit off. Now, an easy way you can do this is just by completely dragging it away, using the move tool, find the midpoint, and then align the midpoint to there. Then again, finding the vertical midpoint, make sure it's the midpoint so again if it's on something you can just move it away find the midpoint and then align that and there you go it's as simple as that and once you complete you can just click on load into project if you want to load it into a certain project you have open thank you very much for watching guys um, I hope you learned something. If you have any queries or questions, just leave it down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer and leave a thumbs up.